bid your farewells to the PlayStation 5, for it appears that the PlayStation 6 is looming much closer on the horizon than we ever anticipated. The inexorable march of progress continues its relentless stride, albeit to the chagrin of my wallet, which longs for a respite from its exertions. Permit us a moment to glance back at the annals of PlayStation history, shall we? Traditionally, the interval between successive PlayStation consoles has spanned approximately five to seven years. The PS2 graced our lives just over five years after the inception of the odd PlayStation, while the PS3 made its grand entrance over a span of six and a half years following the PS2's debut. Similarly, the PS4 descended upon us seven years subsequent to the reign of the PS3, mirroring the very time frame that separated the PS4 from its heir, the PS5. Assuming a conservatively optimistic stance, projecting another seven to eight years between console generations, we might reasonably anticipate the advent of the PlayStation 6 in the year 2028 or shortly thereafter. However, the intrigue deepens as we delve into the official court documents that have come to light during the Activision Blizzard skirmish between industry titans Sony and Microsoft. In a rather revelatory disclosure, Sony claims on page 8 of the sprawling 22-page dossier that Microsoft had extended the availability of Activision's titles on PlayStation until 2027. The narrative continues with an assertive tone, as Sony Interactive Entertainment prepares to unveil its forthcoming generation of the venerable PlayStation console. It could potentially encounter the loss of access to coveted titles such as Call of Duty and other treasures from Activision's vault. This precarious situation could render it acutely susceptible to the caprices of consumer preference, potentially leading to a gradual erosion of its competitive prowess. Although the precise launch year for the PS6 remains tantalizingly veiled within the document's redacted passages, one need not possess a prodigious intellect to discern the implications of a projected debut for the next PlayStation around the juncture of 2027 or 2028. Indeed, that temporal horizon remains rather distant. For the interim, our focus should pivot toward the emergence of the PlayStation 5 Slim and the tantalizing prospect of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Sony, adept at the art of strategic marketing, is undoubtedly primed to unleash these variations in the coming years, enticing aficionados like us to part with a bit more of our financial affections while they quietly toil on sculpting the grand opus that shall be the PlayStation 6. Till I get up, time is barely on our side